Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi Welcome to EMJ32304 Polytronic For your OEL2 task Okay, we have here DC to DC converter OEL number 2 Okay, I will record the session You can see or you can repeat To uh, see what is the task that you need to perform for this OEL number 2 ok now we give you the scenario which that you are being assigned as engineer or designer in automotive company which that you have or you are being assigned in the team to design a DC to DC converter which convert from a variable input voltage of 30 to 60 volts and 30 to 60 volt input means that this is your frame input frame or voltage range from 30 where's the 30 no, no, to 60 volt okay from 30 to 60 volt then it need to deliver or produce only 40 volt at output and 40 volt at output I'm not sure why I cannot write here so the response is very slow so this is your output single output you have two actually this is not the the exact value but this is the, the range means that when it full charge so it will go up to 60 volt when your battery deplete or reduce the charge it can go down to 30 volt so this is the range ok however the output you have to maintain at 40 volt and by assume that you need to control or make sure that your at all the time even though at 30 volt frame or at 60 volt frame your output should be TCM under any power uh, consumption so you shall read or design your converter each of your group you have your own power range which is maybe your group you have a uh, three or two uh, number of uh, members so one two three member so the first metric number of your uh, team will be your power rating reference means that maybe your first name you have metric number of so assume that you have three members in your group <coughs> so the first four digit number of your first member will be your power rating or power value of your system is that your power value or power rating of your converter for this uh, group will be 4566 watt ok so this is your power rating for your converter Meanwhile, your voltage uh, ripple will be 8.2 percent because it will refer to your second member digit number, and the third is not used because you might have a team which consists only two percent per group, a maximum group be in three uh, person minimum two and you cannot go for four because you shall have a sleeping partner lah. a radio and active partner okay then your frequency will be the third last digit for the first person which is for this group should be five six six hertz so this is your converter rating for person uh, okay 4566 watt 566 hertz 
and output voltage ripple should be set at 8.2 cent. So your computer should operate in CCM under this power rating and the mention what so called input uh, output voltage output voltage ripple sorry my cursor just okay okay then you need to consider for worst case scenario means that you have to check between these two value of uh, frame how much you need in terms of your components value then you select the uh, the worst case scenario of value to be assigned as your fixed value components and run for run at theoretical or at what so called ideal condition uh, ideal condition is that whatever you have calculated you use that to run in ideal condition to see or to make sure that your converter that you have designed is operating and take note on the output of your converter when you run under ideal condition and then you have to determine or you have to acquire all the components which is the real component from element 14 website and so means that you might calculate your values that you could require certain inductor and capacitor up to certain points decimal points but you might end up with a, a ideal or a round number and round number from element 14 let's say you need 14.566 uh, micro henry but the available only 20 micro henry or 10 micro henry so you have to go for the next uh, next what's so called suitable number or suitable value for your design then you simulate again under actual parts with all the parameters that should be included let's say for capacitor inductor you have to include the ESR ESR number for MOSFET and diode you have to put your RDS on B uh, voltage uh, drop for your diode then you run again under actual uh, numbers and compare with your previous previous what so called uh, previous ideal component right. so when you observe you shall see how is the derating or the reduction in terms of their output quality uh, output voltage and right. in terms of their output voltage and the current that passing to your inductor okay you shall design your circuit using PSIM and please set your <coughs> this one already been set in default but for the total time total time you have to set because you cannot run only in milliseconds you might have to run in 10 seconds 5 seconds to get a reliable output okay so jot down or make sure that you simulate and you take the result for average the response on the steady state condition okay steady state condition and you may zoom or present in a, a reasonable cycle of uh, ripples huh? okay. okay first you calculate then only you what so called simulate to prove your calculation right. provide a complete calculation for your circuit design how you get your L how you get your C then you compare with the part that you acquire from element 14 catalog and each of your waveform should be comment so whatever you, that you present please comment above or below your waveform or your table okay 
then justify your design and propose improvement because when you run under ideal part for sure you have or you can get whatever that you have designed for but when you put the actual part there will be a reduction of voltage quality uh, ripple uh, your uh, current response so now you have to justify how you want to improve your design uh, such that it can again producing the output that you need which is 40 volt and comply to the ripple that you target and can run up to the maximum uh, power rating that you would design for so you present your result and verify your result based on the simulation that you perform and make sure you run not only at this uh, point because for graph if you have to produce a graph it should be at least five points that you might have to run 30 volt 40 volt 50 volt 55 60 volt and run for maximum power and then maybe you have to target for worst case scenario and reduce your power accordingly to minimum uh, power or minimum current to make sure or to ensure that at which level your circuit or your converter will remain in CCM okay so that is the design point of view in term of reporting point of view so please follow the rubric being given and eh? the rubric being given here so the rubric is telling you how the report should be uh, conducted or should be presented lah. So I will I won't uh, discuss on the report wise I just want to discuss on how you should design and analyze your design that's all okay thank you very much so if you have anything which is still unclear you can text me uh, hope you can complete your OEL2 in two weeks and submission date and link will be provided soon. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.